you guys so these are the seasons that we're going to be using today salt pepper onion powder garlic powder uh some blackened seasoning some thyme some tony's uh creole seasoning um and some cajun seasoning i believe uh heavy whipping cream bell peppers onions chicken breast oh, it is started ah Get into that chicken. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we gonna need some sizzle. Sprinkle. Like that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit like that right there. Like that. Like so. Then we need. I know. I put some pepper. I put pepper. I did. I did. So I put some more pepper. Mm -hmm. I think I really like blue fruit snacks. Try it up, blue and red. Oh, Try it up, And green. Yellow is something. I think I like that. that is some all, all things are some fruity. Blue and red. Talk like this when you go to season your food, people. Season your food, Jesus. And okay, then we'll the okay, and then we'll go out here. Bit of Cajun. I like to season my food a little bit, you know. And then we're gonna add this chicken to it. Yep, yeah, just a little bit. And then we're gonna add this. And then we're gonna add this chicken to the pan. And we're gonna let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. A little bit of Cajun oh, seasoning. Okay. And we're gonna do just a little bit of this here. Real seasoning. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Girl, girl, <laughs> bite your tongue. Okay. Bite your tongue. I know what I'm doing. All right, so at this point, we're going to add in some blackening seasoning. Just a little bit, not too much. All right, and once we have done this, our chicken is now seasoned. 
um, I'm going to go ahead and rub that in but first let me go ahead and heat this pan up and I'm going to add in some EVOO extra virgin olive oil As my daughter stands to the side and eats a plate of mashed potatoes with her finger, I am gonna go ahead and heat this up and then we will go ahead and massage this seasoning on in this chicken. And go ahead and get these uh, chicken breasts sauteed. So now as my chicken finished cooking, I'm taking it out of the pan and I'm slicing it up, okay? Um, I'm slicing it into pieces and I'm going to um, get all of it sliced up as it finished cooking. Um, and that's just me getting it brown. So once it's completely done, I'm going to slice it up and return it to the pan in the same juices. And what we're doing is we're just gonna make sure this is completely cooked through, browned on all sides. Um, you get flavor from all sides. We're gonna get all that flavor from the bottom of the pan by adding just a little bit of water. All right, and I'm just gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes or so, covered. And this is it. Basically done, I'm gonna go ahead and get it stirred up. And as you can see how brown and caramelize that chicken is all the flavor is in this chicken okay this is when i tell you this is good i mean you can do this with anytime you cook chicken even if you're just cooking a full chicken breast once you've cooked it let it sit in the pan with the same juices and you can add water or chicken broth and deglaze that pan to get all of those brown bits from the bottom Cover it and let it cook. I'm telling you, you're going to have the most moist, tender chicken that you ever had in your life. But I'm going to go ahead now and pull all the chicken out of the pan because I'm going to use this same pan to saute my onions and peppers and make my sauce. So once I get everything out of the pan, I'll go ahead and add in my peppers and onions. Oh, and let me get y'all a close up on that chicken. Y'all wanna see it? Gorgeous, delicious. All right, so now a little more uh, olive oil to the pan and in goes the onions and peppers. And I'm gonna saute these until the onions are a little translucent um, and the peppers have softened just a little more. I actually cut my peppers um, when I buy them from the grocery store. I usually get them from Sam's, 
um because i get more for my money but i will cut them up when i get them from the grocery store and i will put them in freezer bags and freeze them for when i'm ready to use them um so i never have to really cut up peppers uh for a recipe i just pull them out of the freezer these i pulled out of the freezer and i let them thaw so they were a little not mushy but um they didn't have a lot of crunch to them because they did uh thaw out completely um before i cooked them so they don't have to cook for too long because i don't want them mushy or soggy but i am going to cook it down and so like i said the onions are kind of translucent before i uh start building my sauce all right and there i'm going to go ahead and add about two tablespoons of minced garlic i use this minced garlic because it is convenient um, feel free to use fresh garlic if you um, choose to I'm gonna go ahead and add in some garlic powder and basically what I'm doing here is everything that I added to my chicken I'm um, basically what I'm doing is everything I added to my chicken uh, when I sauteed it I am going to now add in to my peppers and onions because I'm building my sauce so I'm using the same seasoning um, uh, just with a little bit more because I didn't use thyme on the chicken um, and I'm also going to add some parsley into this all right and in goes about two cups of uh, heavy whipping cream And you see it coming to like a rolling boil at this point once it gets to this point I am going to add in some cornstarch to thicken my sauce but when adding it in I'm gonna add the cornstarch to a little bit of water so it doesn't clump up and then I'm gonna add that into my sauce to start to thicken it And I'm just adding a little at a time because I don't want it to get too thick. And just make sure you continue to stir so your sauce isn't sticking to your pan or getting too thick and clumping at the bottom of the pan. All right, and this is my finished sauce. All right, and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start plating because it's time to eat. Um, I don't know what made me eat come up with this recipe it was just something that I just came up with on a whim 
Um, I wanted some chicken. I wanted some creamy, garlicky sauce. So this is what I put together. It is definitely something I will be making on a regular because it was absolutely delicious. Um, I paired it with some mashed potatoes and green beans and that is what we had for dinner. Like I said, it was absolutely amazing. Um, definitely give it a try. Um, and let me know how you like it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything plated up and we're about to eat. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love for you guys to give it a thumbs up. I would love for you guys, if you aren't already a part of the family, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. Love for you guys to be a part of the family. Um, and give us your feedback. Let us know, you know, what videos you'd like to see. Um, definitely open to trying new things. So just let me know. Um, anyway, as always, you know I love you guys to the moon and back. Um, that's it, you guys. I will see you in the next one. God bless. Peace. Fancy restaurants with the soup, the, the, the sauce, is that the sweep on the side? With the spoon?